Well, we have the threat of some severe storms later today ahead of a cool front. This is the second one of the week. We'll really drop temperatures and dew points for tomorrow and Saturday, but another front will make it even cooler Sunday and Monday. So here's the setup. We showed you this yesterday. This front was in the western Dakotas. Hasn't moved a whole lot east, but it is progressing. We've got an area of low pressure, kind of a triple point here in eastern South Dakota, where you've got cool, warm air and sort of an occlusion uh, all coming together. Uh, now, for central and southern Minnesota, including the Twin Cities, right in the heart of this, we do have a slight risk, level 2 out of 5 for severe weather today. Monday, that was an enhanced risk. If you remember, it was a level three out of five. This is not quite as uh, the setup that we had Monday, but there will be a couple strong to severe storms. Temperatures in the mid 80s here, at least across southern Minnesota today, 70s to the north. And in fact, uh, the high resolution rapid refresh model uh, has us hitting 90. Outside chance of that. Uh, if we do, it'll be the eighth one of the season. But it is going to be warm and humid regardless. Dew points in the low 70s. A lot of instability here across central and southern Minnesota. Uh, energy instability, what we call CAPE, convective available potential energy, in the three to th 4,000 joule range. Now, the issue today is the best shear is going to be further to the west. But there will be enough shear here in central and southern Minnesota as storms develop to organize storms, uh, especially initially maybe into some uh, isolated supercells. So there is a tornado risk across central Minnesota, including the Twin Cities. But I really think we're looking more at a large hail and uh, damaging wind gust threat here with those storms as they kind of really fill in in a line. We're going to see it, a line of storms really fill in from north to south across the state ahead of that front. So this is uh, the high resolution rapid refresh models uh, wind gust forecast. And you can see these pockets of severe wind gusts across central and southern Minnesota here late this afternoon evening. So here's late afternoon. We'll start to see those storms fill in from all the way to the international border down into Iowa. And again, a broken line. Now this particular model run has the storms kind of splitting around the metro. We'll see if that happens. But uh, overall, the chance is really there for all of us to see storms and the severe threat, of course, central and south. Widespread half inch to maybe one or two inches of rainfall, but there are gonna be locally heavier amounts in some of these storms, in some of those downpours. Uh, some of the models really hinting at these potential for two to four inch rainfall amounts. And of course, some areas right in the heart of the metro had two to four inches earlier in the week. So that'd be a lot of rain in one week. No surprise with the summer we've had, but very humid. Dew points in the low 70s today, not as humid as Monday, but tropical. Behind the front though, very comfortable. Dew points will drop into the 50s tomorrow and Saturday, and then even cooler, even drier air for Sunday and Monday. So this is that second front coming through tonight. The first one was Monday night. That'll drop temperatures for tomorrow and Saturday, but really to normal levels. It's this third front that comes through Saturday night and without moisture. So it's just gonna be coming through quietly. It'll drop those temperatures even more for Sunday and Labor Day. Highs tomorrow will be upper 70s to near 80, but Lots of sunshine, sunny skies through the weekend, in fact. And then that further drop in temperatures is going to result in highs in just the low to mid 70s here in southern Minnesota. Upper 60s only in northeastern Minnesota. And that's going to set us up for a chilly Sunday night. Labor Day morning, lows will be in the low 50s in the Twin Cities urban heat island core. But some of the suburbs will be in the upper 40s and widespread 40s outside of the metro. And in fact, probably some 30s up in the Iron Range in those typical cold spots. Hibbing, Embarrass, you know who you are. Uh, maybe not Frost, but upper 30s, I bet, will be definitely out there. 87 today. Again, it could be upper 80s, maybe 90 if we can get enough push of warmth here. Definitely a warm, humid day, but tomorrow will be dramatically different. Just gorgeous. Uh, impeccable timing here for the holiday weekend. Uh, it's going to be sunny right through Labor Day and actually into next week. A very dry pattern setting up with seasonable temperatures as many kids head back to school next week. 